All right. Hello. My name is Jada with the YVF and I have Simone Jones and Jordan Jones. How are you two doing today? How are you doing, Jada? Amazing. I'm doing great. Okay, I love to hear it. So last season, your characters made some interesting choices in love. So this season, I want to hear why you two personally love your characters. And what do you love about the characters you get to interact with? Hmm. What I love about my character is that she's balanced, she's honest, and she's a real like trailblazer and go get her, go get her. And then she's like, she's like, She's strong, but like an effortless strong. Um, that's what I love. And what I love about getting, wow. So mm, the season, I'm like, what can I say? <laughs> the season, I'm, of course, we love working with Will always with Jabari and love working with Ollie just as an actor because he's brilliant. And the, the new characters, have we introduced? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> In the first three, the yeah, first three, yeah. In the first three, well, we have some new love for everybody. And so that's really exciting how we get, because, you know, sometimes it's like once you have a new person in your life, you kind of like throw the other person away on TV. But in real life, that's not what you do. You you figure out how to adjust your relationship to and how it evolves and yeah. creates new avenues for you to be, for you to grow as people. Okay. I'll say what I love about my character, especially from one to two, is that, Two, I was kind of like, you know, the smooth guy didn't have any conflict. Season two is more, you get to dive into more of the mental of jazz. Everything isn't peachy keen. Um, he goes through his own trials and tribulations. So I love that. But what I love mainly about the relationships um, that I've gained, like throughout the show, character wise, is that um, obviously you get to see us navigate through the relationships, but you can see the ups and downs in those relationships as well between me and Will, uh, me and Hillary. So um, I think that's, yeah, that's my favorite part of, of my character. Okay, I like that. So both of your characters are really young. We have Lisa, who's in high school, and Jazz, who's in his 20s. So in real life, can you give us some tips about adulting? Like, how do you balance? Like, what's going on? Like, can you help the young viewers? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you some stuff. Look, do your homework, all right? Go finish, go to school. Good enough. <laughs> she was no, like, I would say, she was like, what the hell? <laughs> no, I would, I would, I would say this for real, and, and being adult, that like, at the end of the day, everybody is gonna do what they do, right? I'm a firm yes. believer in God, so I, I believe in running your own race. I say this all the time, but like in horse races. They have their blinders on. So when you're in a horse race, the horse doesn't look to the left or right. Because if so, you'll miss a step. You might fall, whatever. You may lose the race. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's next to you, who's your age, who is an actor or an actress doing the same thing you do. And you're like, oh, that could have been me. Oh, I'm older than them. Maybe I'm not good enough because they're younger and doing this. You have your own race to run mm -hmm. and you have your own path that God. So basically don't compare yourself to anybody else because once you start doing that, First of all, comparison is a thief of joy. Mm -hmm. But but secondly, whenever you know you compare yourself to somebody else, you're not them. You don't go through what they go through. They don't go through what you go through. Mm -hmm. So if you just stay going forward, and by the time you get to that finish line, even if you saw these people ahead of you or behind you, it didn't matter. By the time you get to that finish line, they might be looking at you like, well, you really did it. Mm -hmm. Example for like Viola Davis or like Kevin Hart. You know, like people think, oh my God, they just popped that out, out of nowhere. Like, no, they've been working for years and then finally got their big break. But I'm sure they weren't like, oh, I'm 18, started acting. And I see whoever is 18 and popping, you know, Viola <laughs> Davis. <laughs> I don't know who was. But like she probably had those thoughts. And then now she's probably way bigger. So don't compare yourself to people. Um, run your own race and God will take care of the rest. For me, I would say being present mm -hmm. because you never get today back. You know, you know, it's well, I love tomorrow, like tomorrow's cool, but like today, <laughs> Dude, you that's know, gorilla. that's gorilla. Stop, yes. be up, be up on it, be yeah. up, yes. stay with me. Oh my god, it. It. but like, you know what I mean? Really being present because you think, even if you think like today is hard or like today is like, oh, tomorrow something's coming, something's crazy, or maybe you're 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 harping on what you did yesterday that you could have done better, but really, like, you never get this moment back. So really, like just sinking in um, to and doing everything the best you can in the moment because it all adds up.
Okay. And just to wrap things up, was there any particular scene or moment working with your character and you were like, oh, I definitely been here, done that before? <laughs> oh, all the time. That was actually the craziest question you probably could have had. That's crazy. Seriously. For like both of us. Like yeah. very similar. It's actually in a way easier <laughs> to act and bring out that emotion or even if it's not emotion, but just to be as flawless as you try to be. Because a lot of things that I and I can, uh, you know, I don't want to speak for you, but I feel like can. we both have gone through similar situations in yeah. real life that we'll sometimes be like, ain't no way the script is like this. Right, literally. Like, like, we'll go through something and we're real friends in real life, yeah. all of us. And so we go through things together. Um, and then we'll show up to work, we'll be like, what the fuck? Like, like were they listening? What, what they no way. I'm like, literally. checking everything. No, for real. Not, like, <laughs> all jokes aside. Sometimes it's a little too close where I'm like, y'all know about my life or something like that. Right, right, right. Yeah. But there's a moment where Lisa says, it's just like, wow, I really, I'm embarrassed. I really, I felt like I was that girl, you know, who let such and such, who let this, this, and this slide. And we've all been that girl. Yeah. So, so watch the fun now, girl. Y'all going to go through it. <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you two so much for talking to me and giving me and my friends and family something to look forward to to come on TV. So keep going and thank you. Thank Absolutely. you, Jada. Thank you.